Are you interested in the XP750 power supply by Exilence or Excellence or Inxilence? I don't know what the actual name is of this company, but I do know that this is a sister brand company from Be Quiet. So obviously using Be Quiet power supplies for quite a number of years now, I'm quite like happy with them. So this is a new power supply to uh, like test out, but I haven't got all the proper like equipment. It's like millions of pounds. Well, not millions of pounds, but it's a lot of money. But anyway, this is a gold plus certified power supply. Doesn't mean it's always the best power supply or anything like that, but because we're in 2017, it's been a long time with power supplies and power supplies have got better, but I still would not skimp out on any power supply regardless of whatever uh, components that I've got in the actual case. But anyway, so this is uh, Eco PSU, says efficient power, 91. I don't know what that means. It hasn't got gaming slapped all over it and everything like that, like you normally do with all power supplies. It says ready for graphics cards, comply with the EP214, LLC plus DC to DC design. Superior airflow design, which looks like it's got a massive fan on there. But this is a 750 watt performance X series, and we're just gonna get this out of the box and then just well, nice, got some instructions. This here says if you go and register this in the next 60 days, then you can get an extra year on your power supplier, which is awesome, always good to know. That shows that they're really comfortable with their power supplies, so you can get extra time with it. I'm gonna pull this out of the box. And because I am in the UK, I didn't get a UK version, but if you do order one, you will get one for your country, so there's no problem there. You get four normal screws that you can attach to the actual case, so that's good. So, we're just going to rip this plastic off. So, being it's connected to the back of the power supply already, it's not fully modular, it's like semi-modular. It's got 24 pin on the back there and you can break it off to make it a 20 pin to fit into old school motherboards. And you also got the uh, dual split um, EPS connector which is two four pins. But you just connect them up like that and you can put it into an eight pin motherboard. But if it's six pin, mm, so don't think it's gonna work. But anyway, well it will work but the power will be a little bit off. But you got Performance X Exilence written on the back there. It's got like a little plus. It's like a little Switzerland um, power supply. It's got two red uh, bits for your PCI um, Express for your graphics cards. And then you've got the peripherals for SATA and peripherals for SATA and Rolex, I guess. And they're three pin. And then the PCI Express is four pin. And then you've got this little uh, decent fan. Well, it's not little, but it's a 120 mil fan. Then it's screwed on there nice with a couple of screws and that looks pretty decent. You see you've got a nice bit of airflow on there, the components look pretty decent inside what I can see. Then it's got this horrible sticker on the side that they used to put on power supplies, that's really annoying. But you normally have it turned over like this and you've got a nice little logo. Right, so you get six Molex, six SATA and two PCI Express graphic cards uh, connectors. And these ones still split off, so they're a bit like this. Well, this is what they are, and um, I don't know, when they're like this and you put them into a graphics card, if you've only got one slot for a six pin, you've got all this little bit of cable hanging around and then that bit hanging around, and you can't really hide this because it's not long enough to hide, but it's still got enough to put in a dual eight pin for uh, two dual eight pin uh, graphic cards. So that's pretty decent that it can power it. Obviously, but it is a 750 watt power supply. And then you've got obviously six SATA connectors and the cables are quite long. So you can do some uh, routing, some cable management with that. So that's not too bad. So that's it about the power supply. It's so basically, get one of these, get your uh, normal plug for your country and stuff like that. Register it for another year. And then you've got a longer uh, power supply of, of life. So anything goes wrong with it, they will just send you out a new one. The customer service is really great with Be Quiet. And I'm guessing it will be with this company as it's a sister brand of Be Quiet. And uh, you've got all the cables necessary to go in there. And to be honest with you, what I do actually like about these power supplies, I do like the little red sort of look, the little Swiss look of it. If you're going with a red and black theme. A um, bit disappointed as well that you can only go with the red and black theme, you can't go with anything else. You could have it all black and then it will go with everything else. So, I don't know. But other than that, I wonder when they're gonna stop doing this and actually just make just normal modular power supplies. But other than that, it's a good company. Heard of them for years and stuff like that. Heard good thoughts about them. 
I'm just gonna put this in a build um, in the next couple of weeks and then check out obviously power consumption and overclocking and see how well and how stable it is. But I'm sure it'll be really like really good because I wouldn't just pick up a power supply and stick it in there just in case it blows up my system. But anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If not, dislike it, leave a comment, subscribe, share, follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter for all up and coming like update. Uh, information of what I'm going to be doing next so it could be like a power supply could be a computer build could be a custom water cooling build could be an air cooled build could be photography could be video production could be anything so just stay in uh, tune with that and thanks for watching oh also before thanks for watching link in the description down below where you should be able to buy this and also check out my merch store and everything like that so Amazon link in the description and overclockers will be in the description down below. Comment if you already know about this company anyway and let me know what your thoughts are. See you next one. Thanks for watching.